Hello YouTube, I emptied my ash bucket out the other day, and this is what I found in the bottom. I don't know if I ever redid this screwdriver, but what a mess. And I don't know if it's melted or not, because sometimes I've cleaned the stove, and it's still got a few coals, so I just put everything in the bucket, and then take it outside. But if it's not had a fire for a few days, I can leave the bucket set here like this bucket full. And the stove hadn't went for a few days, so. Well, we're going to go to the bench, clean this up, some rubbing alcohol, and see whether it's worth saving. What a shame. Don't ask me how it got in there. So, stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Okay. It's not looking good. That's all melted looking, even in the hair. We'll wet it down once with the alcohol so you can see what kind of a screwdriver it was in its day. And I know where this screwdriver came from. It came from a Napa because, uh, if I remember right, late 80s. I need to put a set of points in the car. I didn't have a screwdriver to put the points in with me. And I bought this screwdriver at the Napa store and put a set of points in outside the store. So, yeah, that's where this came from. Nasty. And we're going to do a lot of this by hand with sandpaper. Uh, we're going to try to belt sander a little bit, but we're doing a lot of work with sandpaper. So stay tuned. We're going to go do this first. If this is the worst part, we're going to do this first see whether it's disabled. And I know to spin around, the thing's got to bend to it. The end's pretty shot. I don't know if I can... I'm sure I can save that. If I spend some time. It's not real bad but you can tell it's been pride it's it's just a screwdriver to end up just being used on junk and stuff and so it wasn't used for over the years it was just grabbed and used for whatever reason so stay tuned we'll see what happens okay I don't know what grit that is but that's not bad the hardest part's trying to come down on here let me find one where I sent see where I sanded it the hard part's trying to come down here because I messed up. You can see that. I'm going to probably have to do that by hand to put that curve to it. Because you get on the belt and you're trying to do the right, you know, different whatever to get that rounded. That works pretty good. It's not a real heavy grit. You don't want to press hard and melt the plastic. But there you go. That's so far. We'll continue working on it. Then when we get all done with this, we'll give you one more look before we hand sand it. Okay, we got our little piece of sandpaper out. 220. That's pretty good paper. I'm out. I have to get some more. It's not bad. We did take the brass brush and scrub it like in the blue. Lightly with the 220 on the paint. Uh, we will sand a little bit because I'm not going to repaint it. It's not worth me repainting it. We're just kind of trying to, you can talk, trying to clean it up. There. You can talk. I might have redid this screwdriver once. It might have been thrown in a video or something. In it because when I was just starting out learning to polish tools and stuff, been quite the learning experience to polish plastic with those buffer wheels. Now I don't have a drill. I've heard my drill up. Uh, I did mention that I can make a video about it, but the switch burned up. It's got a voltage control in there. There's actually a little chip, you know, your little three-legged transistor. I know what it is. It's CB. It's called a voltage, voltage your final. It's black with bolts. Some of them bolt on the case. has three legs. I can't tell you what it is right now. But it, it's That's all fried. So it fried the Variable speed, so if it fried that, it, it's in the junk. It's thrown away. I'm going to save the chuck off and that's it. So We need a drill to buff with. So we don't know what we're going to do. Battery drill is not going to cut it. Anyway, enough yak about that. We will be getting one here next time we can get near a store. I probably could have got it warrantied, but I don't know where the slip is. For stuff like a twenty dollar drill, you know what happens. It gets thrown in the desk drawer or something your receipt. Okay, enough looking at that. We'll cut the next few clips a little shorter because we talk so much now. Okay, we did all we could do besides polish it. We're gonna go back and catch that with sandpaper. See how rough that is? How chunky that is? We're gonna sand that out. We did 
kind of sand on here with some 1000. We did redo the edge, good enough. This will probably be made into a screwdriver if I don't blow it out in the light. Like for taking jets out of carburetors, it's the perfect one to use. It's an old one, you can shape it the way you want it, you make it as thick as you want. Uh, this way, you know, because sometimes those jets have a wide slot, so you don't want to use a screwdriver that skinny, you want to grind back. You want to custom make a screwdriver for that carburetor instead of ruining it. So, I have a screwdriver I showed one time I did that. Or, uh, it's like a 4-in-1 screwdriver. It just happened to fit in it to get the jet out. Uh, real cheap plating on this. Uh, I took like 60 grit and scrubbed off the flaking chrome, nickel, whatever they want to call it. Is that big gouge in there? I could have used that to jump start a Ford across the cylinder or something arc and burn that. It, it almost looked, it doesn't look like it was hammered. It looked like it was melted out or ate away. See that? That's nasty. That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, that's enough. Uh, we're going to polish it and we'll be back. We're going to find a way to whatever drill. Because my only other corded drill is hooked up to my 12 volt sander. Or not 12 volt. You know what I mean. My little mini sander right here. See? So I don't have another drill right now. So we'll find something. Stay tuned. Well, I am just amazed. We used my brown. That's all we used on this. And this to buff it, polish it. And see how dirty it is? I mean, I shouldn't even use it. But I wouldn't use it on something real good. And then we took some black. Uh, with the same kind of wheel. To the shaft of the screwdriver look how nice that is I haven't had that good luck with blue on trying to get really nasty plastic to polish the blue is okay if it's lightly scratched because it's a finer polish but this really took the sander marks out I'm really amazed of course I buffed in here when I got to I'll go lengthways too, you know, so I buffed the paint a little bit. But like down this part of the screwdriver, it's hard to get. And this I did some sandpapering too, went in the grooves. It's kind of hard to get that clean. I'm really amazed of how good I could do with just those cheap buffing wheels and stuff. There you go. Take some photos of it. Uh, back in service, could go in the door. Can go in the good screwdriver door, actually. So, thanks for watching.